हरि ओम सो आई शेल कंटिन्यू माई सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स दैट इज कंपेरेटिव रिलीजन्स हिंदुइजम वर्सेस क्रिस्टियनिटी दिस शैल बी माई पार्ट फाइव इन इंग्लिश सो आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री वेर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन अबाउट फिजिक्स मैटर कैन नॉट बी क्रिएटेड और डिस्ट्रॉयड और आई एंड बेल्स तेल ऑफ इन इक्वेलिटी और डबल स्लिट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स क्वांटम इरेजर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स और स्टीव एक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन आवर सेल्स हाउ दे ऑल आर इंटरकनेक्टेड एट द एटॉमिक वर्ल्ड एट द क्वांटम वर्ल्ड इफ यू वांट यू कैन पुट इन फिजिक्स एट द एटॉमिक सब एटॉमिक वर्ल्ड दैट इज इन द फर्मियॉन्स एंड बोसॉन्स एंड क्वाक्स एंड क्वाक्स अप क्वाक्स डाउन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से द they are all connected they they cannot be a space they are all connected to each other see that is where hinduism scores now please be well entrenched in this idea of this connectivity now what happens i am going to come to what is known as philosophical sciences we have what is known as law of attraction in law of attraction it's a philosophical scientific world because there are some lots of electrons which are attracted to us if you think of it varshati yavat varshayati if you think of rain it will rain if you think of sun god he will uh, oblige you powers of nature are that if you think your own dog a pet you just pat it will wag its tail is it not there are wonderful things pet animals do for their bosses wonderful if you are friendly with them even your own what bananas banana trees any tree if you nurture them well they'll give you lots of fruits they will help you now in law in laws of attraction what happens is if you think of positivity if you think of happiness if you always think of success that is the power of positive thinking positivity that is why in hinduism we worship gods or devas or powers of nature different gods not gods they are all devas there are somebody was criticizing they worship 330 30 million gods i don't know where he took the word gods there are devas vasu rudra aditya eight vasus 11 rudras and 12 adityas so that will be 31 8 plus 11 19 plus 12 31 one is prajapati the guru 32 and one is the devendra 33 each of these devas powerful devas has subdivisional powers within, within them up to 1 crore powers just like if you take a to the power of 4 it can be a squared into a squared right there are subdivisional power of 4 so the number is a to the power of 4 these are all created later on but the basic is vasu rudra aditya swarupaya that's what we say there are 8 vasus 11 rudras and 12 adityas 31 prajapati 32 and devendra 33 now there are not gods the god is a paramatma who is arupi who is nirguna no no guna for him we have that paramatma like uh, allah they say in islam see these foreigners not knowing proper sanskrit they will call homa or yagna as a sacrifice now where is a sacrifice there homa is a homa you can't you have to have ishtiga that is bricks you have to have the samitis then you fuel the fire then then you offer ghee or butter or whatever it is uh, dadihi that is uh, curds milk honey you see you, how do you call a yoga or a yagna as a sacrifice even i do not know and they call devas as gods okay that is something different now i am coming to positivity no this churchianity is what it is what which perturbs me and it is not the christianity see i have got nothing against jesus christ maybe he lived maybe he is an acharya he was an acharya yes if you read bible there are very good words very good Uh, upadeshas advices of jesus christ purported to have been told by jesus christ written by the four gospel writers mark matthew luke and st john they would have written it in the name because that somebody has to be a father figure otherwise they will not accept if i write <laughs> if i say i am writing they would not accept if i say god is speaking like this they will accept <laughs> that is human psychology is it not so there if you see nowhere in bible does this is say i have you should worship me in a cross where i am crucified with my hands and legs nailed with no clothes on me bleeding 
with thorns in my head where does it say in bible i have not i have not uh, found uh, any verse wherein jesus uh, says that you have to worship me like this because it is disrespect to jesus himself if he had existed is it not do you worship a messenger of a god crucified on a cross bleeding attracting sympathy or sorrow and then you say he died for humans he di- he suffered for us for our sins see these are all uh, all beautiful uh, what is known as uh, poetic expressions by this uh, this uh, ch- church pastors or the priests or the uh, or the preachers they are all same priest pastor a pastor is a, a person who a, a, a priest in a church who conducts all the religious ceremonies see this is all written and they wanted to attract uh, by showing a cross a dead person on a cross and he has died for you see this is very this is not correct by the christianity it is not christianity because you are now praying to negativity when you are in a state of praying to a dukkha the atomic electron cells things that you like dukkha you like sorrow so far away they are and they are traveling at a speed of light interconnected to each other they will come like you like swarm of flies a fly or any insect goes around a round round blood and a dead body and a dead flesh is it not common sense electrons also same thing if you start worshiping somebody on a cross dead bleeding that dukkha electrons will come to you and circle you thinking that you like them therefore your state of happiness is a state of dukkha only your state of happiness is a state of sorrow that is you like sorrow and that you want sorrow and that sorrow is your state of happiness see it's all uh, uh, emotional and it is all uh, qualifiable my state of happiness will be to come first in a running race whereas my friend state of happiness would be to make a million dollar another friends of state of happiness would be to come first in this exam various states are there for for a child a state is different a chocolate is a state of absolute extreme happiness a good chocolate he wants or a good dress he wants which as adults as mature people we are not bothered about so much about our dresses we are bothered about something higher level higher plane therefore these electrons which are surrounding a dead person's body on a cross and if you start worshiping there is a higher probability that they would come and land on you it's all probability i told you the basic thing is your purva janma karma that is where the definition takes place as soon as you open your eyes in your mother's womb then worshiping krishna or shiva plus or minus 20% your sorrows can be mitigated or your su- success can be elevated it is not that your success uh, you will get sorrow your sorrows can be mitigated if you worship positive energies positivity or if as per your purva janma karma you are supposed to be like a deer being eaten away by the pack of wolves the suffering can be minimized maybe the deer t- uh, dies immediately without suffering so much if you travel on the field of positivity therefore i tell these churchianity is churchians you should not it's a disrespect to jesus himself if you worship a cross a nice person should he not be given respect how do you want to see your king or your prime minister mounted on a horse bridled with gold chains and uh, having gold chains and having gold, golden swords and fantastic horse and with his uh, turban or with his crown kingly status you like to see your king or your prime minister like that instead of seeing your prime minister in a hospital bed with icu tubes running into him he is suffering and panting for life see have we should apply our own common sense that is what tiruvalluvar said beautifully nunni anul palakarpinum matrum than unmai arive migum use your own common sense you might have learned lot of uh, literature if you apply your common sense would you like to worship a person on a cross bleeding dead is not an insult to him is it not an insult to the king if the king is shown in a hospital bed panting for breath with all icu tubes going in and doctor you know common sense that is why we hindus 
worship if it is a god we have got the agama agama shastra idols how to install an idol where to install an idol and then apply tilak apply god flowers apply do the puja do the deepa aradhana camphor light is very important let there be light only god said no in bible so what does the christians do what does the europeans do on a birthday they light the candle and blow it off whereas our dharma shastra is we do not blow away our candle we light our candle and that is how thirumular says vilakkai yetri veliye ariyin vilakkin munbe vedanai maarum vilakkinai vilakkum vilakku udayarkku vilakkil vilangum vilakku avar thame see the beauty sir see the beautiful words how we punch the tamil word vilakkai yetri if you light a lamp and veliye ariyin if you know outside vilakkin munbe your vedana your sorrows will disappear so those vilakkinai vilakkum vilakku udayarku those who are having that lamp which explains the light they themselves will be the vilakku they themselves will become the lamp they themselves will become the jyoti they themselves will become the paranjyoti that's what ramalinga adigalar wanted every one of us to merge with the paranjyoti and he did a miracle he proved he never told the lies he told the truth what was the truth he himself merged his body with the divine light and his body could not be found in spite of in 1875 the british uh, tahsildar and the indian tahsildar and the british uh, collector went and inspected it to vadalu in uh, near naiveli and found nothing wrong has taken place he has done a miracle that's a finding there it is available in the gazette in the tamil nadu gazette 1875 not uh, Uh, south arcot gazette please go and check even madam blevetsky and colonel alcott of theosophical society they went and inspected those records therefore what we are saying is it is a disrespect by the church the church wanted to make money it all happened only in the 8th or 9th century and then developed pick steam 11th and 12th century even the shroud of turin was found to be a false carbon dating proves that it belongs to 12th and 13th century and does not belong to the christian era of the common era 2000 years back that jesus was supposed to have lived it doesn't belong to that because fundamentally if you see bbc documentaries and all and also netflix go to netflix and see all those things when in the cross the what were romans doing the roman system of giving a death sentence is to crucify in a cross that's what julius caesar and crassus those two generals before christ was born when they go went and massacred spartacus they captured the rebels and from rome up to 200 miles outside rome they installed cross and crucified everybody crucified means they will nail and leave them there they will not allow you to take remove the body from the cross it is a punishment it is a disrespect they want to give the disrespect to the accused to the criminals it's a criminal way of uh, punishment by the romans and the body would be eaten by vultures or uh, wild birds so no body will be given no cloth will be given see if you start writing poetic imaginations let it be there we are not questioning but do not criticize hinduism that's what the the pastors who are born in india there are lot of tamil pastors who are born in india calling the uh, vigrahas in the temples as satans having eaten the food of our pandya chera chola pallava kings having eaten their food food having eaten their piche their charity and having reaped the benefits of the ashirwada of our siddhas having been blessed by our siddhas our munivars our rishis they now turn back on their own mother selling their soul to somebody else and start criticizing let them speak appreciatively of their own god that is uh, okay acharya devo bhava atithi also devo bhava let uh, that is very correct also but as hindus as sanatana dharmi i will not go and criticize their gods or their pulavas or their uh, poets i appreciate everybody but these people tell these hindus he himself is a hindu his parents were hindus his parents his generations his tata and greater grandfather and great 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 grandfather have all enjoyed the 
charity given by our kings have all enjoyed the fruits and the food given by our lord shiva lord mahavishnu kartikeya having been blessed by the muttamil changam by the three tamil sangams where lord subramanya is the chief blessed by lord shiva and mahavishnu having lived their life for generations in this great land turning a u turn because you are getting money and speaking what special benefit you have got i am asking those pastors who blame they can't even cure a headache come on tell me let us go and uh, i will do the uh, charity uh, yagya and you also do the prayers let us see who has who is more powerful see you are bound by your karma that is what our veda says bhagavan says if you go and surrender at his feet yes you will be mitigated if you have sorrow or you will be elevated if you have by karma if you are supposed to enjoy say wealth now if you bring in all such types of criticisms blaming criticizing ridiculing saying that these hindus worship idols i am going to deal with a separate chapter on why we worship idols what is meant by spinoza's god how did einstein believe in spinoza's god who is that spinoza is it pantheism i am going to say because nature god is in nature said einstein that's what spinoza a jew he himself is a yudha a jew in the 16th century was living in holland netherlands and wrote a book called the ethics the book was published in 1677 after he died but he speaks of hinduism only the god that is present in the nature is the god for us he says you have to learn to worship nature because your life for 80 or 90 years and your punar and punar janma and punar marana and all if you want to have you have a good life you have to worship nature respect nature that's what you now the modern science is saying don't cut trees don't spoil the river climate change all from boris johnson to uh, joe biden and all these europeans are now falling into our line of thinking you have to worship nature that's what einstein said everything is energy i am going to come to a separate chapter but if you start worshiping dukkha if you sh- start worshiping a death symbol a cross nobody worships see do we worship if our great grandfather has died do we worship his dead body do we keep his coffin in our house and say oh god you, oh my great grandfather you have lived and died for us you have suffered for us no in hindu system in our tamil system in our indian system we keep the photo we apply tilak we put the garland we worship him we respect him it's a show of respect a decent dress is a show of respect not naked with the icu tubes running into your nose and you panting for breath like the poor butterfly there is nothing supernatural sir in any religion for that matter if you worship lord shiva you will get some supernatural power because he made dance the rudra dandava as per fridge of capra the chairman of hell at sea in vienna large hadron collider fridge of fritz uh, f r i t z o f c a p r a he is a chairman he believes in lord shiva of his rudra dandava these cosmic powers are required for us therefore my dear pastors my dear priests christian priest churchianities do not criticize our hinduism because it is unfathomable if i am going to talk of philosophy you all come and argue with me no problem bring all the, the mightiest of the mightiest research scholar even if billy graham you can wake him up from his grave and bring bring him i will i will put from all these vedas verse by verse by verse where you also copy like you are now saying the kingdom of heaven is within you aham brahmasmi asavaditya brahma brahmaiva aham asmi is what vedas says you are now repeating copying from our vedas and now after the 12 thrones are gone in the heaven you are saying the kingdom of heaven is within you <laughs> my dear young pastors tamilian pastors and all those hindi pastors and priests and uh, Uh, um, 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 preachers you please do not try to ridicule our hindu faith you talk about your faith that is up to you because once we start arguing you will be clean bold i will continue more of this my dear friends and till such time bhuya tavat shubhamangalam hariyo